What up internet, my name is Chris and you're about to watch one of my math videos and I just want to let you know that if you want live tutoring or if you just need homework solutions or if you just want to watch all my free math videos, please visit my website at mathmeaning.com. Once again, mathmeaning.com and I would love to help you out. In the meantime, enjoy my video and take care. Welcome to my video. I'm going to teach you how to factor trinomials uh, when the leading coefficient a does not equal 1. Uh, notice in this example that I give you, uh, your a um, is 2. Um, so that's why uh, we have to use this method, which I'm about to teach you, um, to factor this trinomial. And if you have not seen my video on factoring trinomials when your a equals 1, um, I suggest you watch that video uh, before um, you uh, learn this material. So let's get started with this example. Um, so our step number one is we want to factor a times c. And notice how our a uh, is 2 and our b uh, is negative 15. So 2 times negative 15 is going to equal negative 30. Um, so our step number one is that we want to factor negative 30. So we know that a positive 1 times negative 30 equals negative 30. A negative 1 times positive 30 also equals negative 30. Positive 2 times negative 15 equals negative 30 negative 2 times positive 15 equals negative 30. Positive 3 times negative 10 equals negative 30. Negative 3 times positive 10 equals negative 30. Positive 6 times negative 5 equals negative 30. And negative 5 times positive 6 equals negative 30. Now moving on to step number 2, we need to pick two factors that equal b. And notice how our b in our equation um, is negative 7. So we need to pick two factors of negative 30 uh, that equal uh, negative 7. And notice how in our fifth line of our factors, we have a positive 3 and we have a negative 10. Um, and if you add those two together, uh, positive 3 uh, plus negative 10, uh, then you get negative 7. Um, so these are our two factors that we need to pick um, because they equal our uh, middle term, which is our B term. So once we pick our factors, now we can move on to step number three. And step number three is to rewrite the equation uh, with two separate B terms. So the first thing I'm going to do is just write my A, my a term. And now I'm going to write my C term. And I'm going to rewrite my b term with the two factors that we just picked. Okay, um, so we picked uh, positive 3 and negative 10. So I'm going to rewrite my b term as positive 3x and a minus 10x. So the only thing I just did was I rewrote my b term uh, as with two separate terms using the two factors that we just picked. Now moving on to step number four. We want to factor out a common factor by grouping. Okay, um, and grouping is, is that we just look at two separate groups in this equation. I'm going to look at these two terms as one group and I'm going to look at these two terms um, as another group. Um, so if you look at group number one, which is uh, 2x squared plus 3x, what do they have in common? They both have a x in common, um, so we can pull out um, an x um, in order to factor uh, these two terms. So I'm going to pull out, uh, pull out an x. And to see what's left inside the parentheses, I like to uh, divide by the common factor that we just pulled out. So 
So we're left with a 2x squared divided by x, which is just 2x. plus 3x over x, um, and the x's cancel out, so that's just 3. So now I'm going to look at the second group. Um, notice in the second group we have a negative 10x and we have a negative 15. And what do these two terms uh, both have in common? Uh, they both have a negative 5 in common, so I'm going to pull out a negative 5. Okay, and to see what's left inside the parentheses, I'm just going to divide both terms by the common factor. Negative 10x divided by negative 5 is just a positive 2x. And a negative 15 divided by negative 5 is positive 3. Now notice how both our parentheses are exactly the same. And one hint that I'm going to give you is that if your parentheses are not exactly the same, um, then you've done something wrong and you need to start the, the problem um, over again. So um, notice how our parentheses are exactly the same. And that is a clue that we're, we're doing the problem the right way. If your parentheses are not the same, then you need to start over and uh, start the problem over again. So now let's move on to step number five. Uh, notice how we have two terms, again, and we have x times 2x plus 3, and we have negative 5 times 2x plus 3. Um, so notice how these two terms both have a 2x plus 3 in common, um, so we can factor out that 2x plus 3. So I'm going to pull out a 2x plus 3, because they both have a 2x plus 3 in common. And to see what we have left, what's inside the parentheses, I like to divide by what we just pulled out. And the 2x plus 3's cancel out, and we're left with x minus 5. Now we have completely factored the trinomial, and this is our final answer. I hope this helped you understand the factoring trinomials a little bit better. Um, if you want to see all the rest of my free math videos, uh, please visit my website at mathmeaning.com. Also, if you like the way I teach, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, I also do live tutoring, um, so I hope you uh, enjoyed this video, and take care.